Biblical spectacles used to be a Hollywood staple, but in recent years, studio spectacles have been mostly superhero and sci-fi films. Now Ridley Scott has updated the genre with his own retelling of the Exodus story. Hi everybody, I'm David Cohen, and we're in the Variety Newsroom with Janty Yates, the costume designer for Exodus Gods and Kings. Welcome to the Newsroom, Janty. Thank you so much. When you walk onto a Ridley Scott set, you have to know that you are in a position to make something that might be an enduring work of art. I first worked with uh, Sir Ridley Scott on Gladiator, and I had come from smaller films, and I was terrified every day <laughs> for a year, <laughs> because armor, battles, it was just keep your fingers crossed and hope for the best, because he always shoots with a minimum of five cameras. Now he's shooting always in 3D. There's no escape. There is a sea ahead and an army behind! I would say the thing that fills me um, most with excitement is Ridley's vision. Ridley's vision for this film is just to make it as credible to the average viewer now. The obvious comparison is Ten Commandments because it's a similar period and features Moses and it features Ramses. But there was a certain distance there, whereas here you identify terribly with Moses. He is a man of the people. Follow me and you will be free! Yes! You identify with Ramses because he's not the perfect leader. He's got a little twist in him. I'm a god. I am a god! Apart from pressure of time, which you never have enough of, the only difficulty we had was to make a T-shaped garment, which is a shapeless sack, basically, look, for want of a better word, quite hot. So, you know, we were using leather belts, we were using bindings, we were using drapes, we were layering it all up. On Gladiator, we were fitting and dressing 3,000 extras a day. And now on Exodus, we probably had 1,000 at the most per day because they can be tiled, they can be recreated. We still on Exodus made something like um, 7,500 costumes. For the crossing of the Red Sea, we would have that section of Israelites, men, women, children, drovers, merchants, all of that. In Ramses construction areas, there'd be another 500 slaves there. So we were making constantly the Egyptian army, the Hittites, it all added up. The royal court must look fantastic. Ramses is golden. His whole body is gold. His clothing is gold. Joel will come in and say, have you got anything in gold? The jewelry on Exodus was a very big deal. Everyone wore about 15 pieces every day. My jewelers were amazing. I had Roman jewelers and I had an in-house Italian jeweler who is based in France with his team. I came here to tell you that something is coming that is out of my control. Never assume with Ridley. He's extraordinary. His vision is always astounding. And so you'll go in as thinking one way and he will have a completely different take on it, which is far more exciting and more stunning than you ever imagined. He's a genius.